Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit and I'm VP CRM BIS Solutions with BISP. Recently, I come across with a requirement with one of our, one of our client. They would like to pre prepare a gauge chart using Salesforce data in ClickSense and that gate chart was showing the total one opportunities in percentage with respect to the total number of opportunities. So basically they would like to show the one opportunities percentage on their dashboard with the help of a gate chart by integrating Salesforce data. So we have configured same thing. We provided the same solution for with our clients and uh, I decided to share the same solution with all of you so that you can incorporate the same solution in your requirement or you can also take benefit of integrating ClickSense and Salesforce and present the data in a gate chart. So let's move on to that. So first of all, let's have a look the ClickSense. That's my ClickSense and i have been logged in into my clicksense interface that's my clicksense interface and i have successfully accessed i'm accessing my data load editor because i would be using this data load editor to build a connectivity with salesforce that's my salesforce interface and here as you can see we have opportunities object and i would like to pull data from this opportunity object into clicksense so first of all, let's look at the opportunities and number of opportunities. So there are total 706 opportunities with various stages. So my concern is my requirement is first of all, I would like to extract the data from Salesforce into ClickSense. Then we would be transforming the data if any transformation is required. Finally, we load the data into ClickSense and then we will visualize the data by using various charts. So let me switch back to ClickSense and in ClickSense, first of all, I'm going to create a new connection, new section, and I name that section as Salesforce Data. Now, then I click on create new connection. From here, you will get the default driver for 64-bit system that is Click Salesforce Connector. So I'm using the same connector. Here we need to provide the username, password, and security token. Because as all of you know, those who are familiar with Salesforce, they know that because we would be extracting the Salesforce data out of environment, so security token is must for that. Security token is required for that. To know more about how to reset security token, you can visit my previous video in which I have explained how to reset the security token. Now let me get the username. That's copy paste my username make sure that there would be no special characters and no space in between within password so i just provide my password and we copy paste my security token once i provide all the details i click on test connections click on test connection it will validate the connectivity and once the connection is established, it will display a message connection successful. So this process may take some take some time. It depends on the speed as well as the connectivity as well as the uh, response from Salesforce. So as you can see, I have received a success succeeded message. So click on OK, create. So the connection has been established. Now I would like to add the query here. So first of all, I click on insert connection string. Then we need to select the data. So I click on select data and I would be selecting. First, I uncheck this load statement. And I look for opportunity object. So I select opportunity object. So it will display the preview data preview. Also, we can switch to metadata. So first of all, let's let's the data gets loaded successfully. We can click on metadata to remove the un required fields so the fields which we do not require we can remove them 
so there are a lot of fields so i'll just go with the fields click on insert script so the script will get added i'll save it and click on load data so now you can see the connection has been established successfully i click on close and now i switch to uh, app overview because we are going to design the app so i click on my new sheet it is empty so i click on edit first of all i can check all the fields are here from opportunity table opportunity database so all the fields are coming i switch to charts and i drag and drop the gauge chart because my requirement is to dis to create one gauge chart would be, which would be showing the percentage which would be showing the opportunity one percentage or we can add a title as well i just add a title so this is just for a title so i just click on add so either we can show it here as a label or we can display this directly on our dashboard directly within that so i just delete it i drag and drop gauge now in gauge i need we need to add a measure so i click on add measure now in this measure we will be going to take help of set analysis so i click on expression editor and here i write the aggregate function is count it is stage name stage name insert and uh, so this would be showing the total number of if i simply click on apply it is showing 706 706 is the total number of opportunities we have so we would be going to calculate with respective to this so i again select it expand it click on expression and i'm going to apply set analysis so to, so to apply set analysis that's the syntax and i write here stage name equal to stage name equal to closed one divided by divided by count of stage name insert apply so as you can see it is showing point 0 0.55 definitely it's not that uh, it's not in a proper format we need to we need to display this in proper format first of all i set the label so right here one That is one opportunity. One opportunities percentage. Then uh, it's not in. It's not coming in proper format. So let's customize this. So I switch to appearance. Click on journal, and it's showing title. Any any title you want to show, and uh, details if you want to show or hide. I'll switch to presentation. First of all, it's radial, and uh, I would be using the segments. One more thing I would be doing. I just when I expand it. We have number formatting and our number formatting I changed to number and number would be in percentage. So I just switched to this 55.2%. So as you can see, it has been converted successfully into 55.2%. Then I select this, click on appearance and uh, I use segments. So as you can see, the maximum and minimum, the minimum is zero, maximum is 100. So I, have min I set minimum as 0.5, uh, let's say 0.5. 0, 01 and this i said as 0. 0.1 so that is 0. 0.12 to 10% that is 100% 10 is 100% so i will just customize this so as here you can see it's showing 1 to 10% so i just change this to 0.121 so that is from 10 to 100 percent so i'm just considering minimum as 10 percent and maximum as 100 percent so it's not complete it's showing only half percent is showing up to the value so i just use segments and when we choose segments the segment gets completed now we can customize this segment so we can add limits and we can display the limits with different colors so i'm adding some four limits here and let's customize it and i select this first limit i set this to red color i select second limit 
and set this to this color. So as you can see, the segments are coming in different colors. So the next segment, just, it's already there. So I just go with red, yellow color, this one. So we can have different segments and this one. And the last segment would be in green color. And there is one more feature that is called gradient. So I select this first segment and click on gradient. Second segment. gradient so you can see when we switch to gradient when we click on gradient this color this line gets removed so we can have gradients so you can see it's showing in this color gradient then i switch to gradient so this additional line will get removed and it looks like a uh, there is there's a uniformity in this So this is how we display, we create a gate chart. And now if we apply a filter, if we have a filter, we can, uh, we can, we can apply a filter and display the, uh, the, this chart will get updated ba based on that. So this is how we can integrate ClickSense with Salesforce, pull the data from Salesforce into ClickSense and calculate the one opportunities percentage with the help of set analysis and display the result in a gauge chart so that's all in this video if you have any queries you can visit our website www.bspsolutions.com we are into consulting services both for clicksense clickview and salesforce so if you are looking for any any sort of consulting services you can connect with us keep watching have a nice day goodbye